All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to connect power and mount my Valentine 1 Generation 2 radar detector in this Tesla Model Y. In my previous car, I was able to figure out how to bring down the wiring harness that ran the lights uh, for the cabin using a wire tap, but I didn't wanna try that in the Tesla Model Y and break something on this very expensive, very new car. So instead, I decided to use the 12 volt plug that's down here in the center console armrest. And uh, here you can see it's really convenient where they have the plug placed. And I'm just using the supplied Valentine 1 power connector with their cord. Just have it kind of snaked out here and tucked under my floor mats. So again, it looks uh, really clean. You can't, you can't even see it. Uh, and then I just have it running behind the screen and popped out over here. So the thing I had to figure out was how to actually mount it. And as you can see here, looks pretty clean. I was able to go on Amazon and kind of Frankenstein some interesting parts together. So I found this guy here, which is a retractable, used to be cell phone holder, um, retractable gravity car holder, made for connecting your cell phone out of the way behind your uh, Tesla Model Y screen here. So it's got a little magnetic base here that uh, connects to the back of the phone and 3M adhesive that would connect to the back of the screen. And this gives you a lot of play up and down if I want to raise or lower the height of the radar detector. So I thought that'd be a good idea. So let me go ahead and spin around and show you what it looks like from the outside. So this is how I have things connected here. In my opinion, I think it's really clean. So you have this jointed arm that allows you to kind of position up and down and whatever you want to kind of do. And again, it just has this 3M adhesive that just sticks in the back. So no permanent damage. It might leave some mark if I ever try to take this off later, but not really a concern of mine. I think this should be fine. And I kind of like the look of this. Looks really good behind the screen. I like that uh, it doesn't block my view of the road and it looks pretty clean with the rest of the cabin this way. So immediately after doing this, I took it on the highway, made sure it didn't shake apart and you know, speed bumps and stuff, it's not moving around. Uh, it's pretty secure. The bottom of this mount has a very powerful magnet and it also has a bit of a rubberized texture. So it doesn't want to slip at all. Um, back and forth. So your question might be if I'm using a magnetic base for the cell phone attachment and the Valentine one is not magnetic, it uses a normal clip mount, uh, how am I getting that to stick? So I found another product. Um, basically, it's just a magnetic plate that um, comes in like a multi-pack for different sizes. I'm using this longer rectangular one here and it's just like a, a metal plate with a 3M adhesive on the back and I just kind of stuck that on the bottom of the radar detector and then I just set the radar detector on top of the magnetic mount for this uh, retractable cell phone holder and so far it's been holding really well like I said the combination of uh, the two strong magnets and the rubber base that the cell phone holder has on it means it's not sliding anywhere and if I do want to take it off I can um, but it's on there really firmly. So I mean, so far so good. And I really like the look of this. And if um, you're interested in doing something like this instead of your traditional kind of mirror mount, you know, I'm in Florida, so I don't like using suction cups on the windshield. That's just going to melt off over time and leave marks. So this seems like the better option for me and much more clean. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any suggestions or ideas or comments, let me know. If you're looking for a parts list, I'll leave that in the video description down below. And thanks for watching.